Hello everyone, Josh here with Synergy Permaculture. This is my inaugural video in my new series of permaculture videos that I'm starting covering all of my permaculture projects here in Lethbridge, Alberta and area. This is my very first real permaculture project. It's a food forest and I'm installing it here for some friends, my friend Brittany from back in high school. And we're gonna put in a food forest and some water harvesting urban swales for her so that her and her family can have some awesome perennial food. She's got four kids and the goal is they can come out here to this beautiful property once it's a forest and pick delicious fruits and vegetables to their heart's content and it's perennial so it comes back every year. So today I'm working on the swale system and I'd just like to talk about that a little bit. So here you can see my swales, you can see I have them marked out to here. Uh, the city hasn't come and done the locates yet so I can't excavate this far yet but I've excavated what I can. So as you can see here I have three swales. These three are all going to be connected up at the top here. As you can see, I'm working on digging that right now. And once they're connected, they're gonna run right through here and up to the downspout right there. Right over there at the corner, you can see my transit. That's what I'm using to make sure the bottoms of the swales are all perfectly level and on the same contour so that we pacify the water so we don't have any erosion. I'm going to fill the swales with this wood mulch once they're complete, four and a half inch weeping tile first, then wood mulch. This wood mulch is courtesy of Maureen from Ladybug Arborist. Thank you Maureen very much for the wood mulch. If you need your trees looked at and taken care of, make sure you give her a call. That's Ladybug Arborist. You can see here, these are the other two swales and they've been connected. And here's where the weeping tile will join into the swales right here. Perforated weeping tile this side, unperforated this side as we don't want to infiltrate any water too close to the foundation of the house. We have a nice easy 1% grade right here all the way up to this spot here. This is the post hole I'll be putting a support post in to support the eaves trough which will come straight down and into the weeping tile right here. Now I'd like to talk about the soil on this site. Just going to put the camera down inside the trench here. So as you can see, the soil is just horrible. It's more like dirt. It's not really alive. This on the bottom, if it looks kind of shiny and like I'm squishing this, you can tell this is clay, completely clay. This right here, no real biomatter, no carbon, just crumbly, very silty. No organic matter really, just kind of dust. It's basically dirt, it's dead. So I'm going to be bringing in a whole bunch of uh, horse manure from a friend's horse paddock. It's very good horse manure and we're gonna mulch with that. We're gonna use a nitrogen cover crop. We're gonna plant a bunch of fruit trees and it's gonna be really awesome. My next video will be uh, the planting of the food forest. But for now, here's the swales. So again, there's another shot of the job site. So again, I'm Josh. My new business is Synergy Permaculture. If you like this video, please subscribe, click the like button, and watch for more.